so very good afternoon to all the students now in yesterday's part that is part 1 into the wild we have discussed about how our narrator kiran porandare got lost on his track so as we have earlier discussed that this particular chapter has been divided into two parts so in one particular part briefly we will be talking about or we have talked about kiran porandare's journey from umbarzara village to petzari or you can say that he is somewhere in umbarzara a forest and he has lost his track and he wants to reach petzari a village where he stayed as we progressed in the story we came to know about a number of things such as how kiran porandare used to work alone in the forest to take pictures of the various animals now he is familiar with the sounds made by the langurs and also the different types of animals now it was evening he was running late and suddenly he lost the track of his uh, track of where he wanted to reach he wanted to reach the petizari village but unfortunately he lost the track It means he did not find any way so suddenly he also heard some sounds of some petrified or scared langurs a type of monkey and the langurs were scared of the leopard now leopard is a apex predator in the story apex predator means the top most of all the hunters so he was also worried about if that if he uh, what is a dashed into the leopard how could he save himself and he was also relieved afterwards that the leopard was very far away and the langur suddenly stopped making the noise later on his track he met a person from the village this person was none other than raju iskape from the petsari village he soon recognized him both of them greeted each other and raju had seen our narrator traveling in and out of umbarzara So Raju told our narrator about a shortcut to the village. From that particular place, our narrator started walking alone, and while walking alone, he understood that he has definitely lost the track to Petzari village. It was a evening, unknown hills, and he did not have any idea as the sun was melting like a fleeting runner. now he was lost what to do next or what happened next with him that we shall be discussing in this particular part that is part 2 into the wild by kiran porandare so as we progress soaked in my own sweat i felt like shouting to my heart's content soaked means soaked here means that he was wet he was completely soaked means that he was drenched in water now here it is not water but it is his own sweat i felt like shouting to my heart's content but there was no other soul to listen to my sound in the wilderness so many a times when we get lost or we are angry we are nervous we shout we shout to our heart's content to relieve the nervousness in us but unfortunately he could shout but there would be nobody in the wilderness means at that particular place only the wild animals the trees the birds were there and he could not shout because because of his shouting it could be that the predators that were out for hunting in the evening or in the night would have caught his attention i had two bags with me the shabnam bag having the camera and the other was a small colorful handmade bag used in villages to carry tiffin so a shabnam bag is a type of old bag or an old cloth bag which people used to carry over their shoulders now he had only two bags which he was carrying one had the camera and other had the tiffin if he was hungry he could eat that the tiffin still had some stuff but it didn't feel having it the blossoming boxwood trees the boom boom sound of the cuckoo bird and the song of the robin bird all appeared alien to me now he had some stuff in there was some food in it but unfortunately he was very nervous he was tired and he wanted to fall out of his nervousness falling out of the nervousness means finding a trail to petzari village so you also heard 
साउंड ऑफ बर्ड ऑफ द कोकुल बर्ड द भूप भूप साउंड ऑफ द कोकुल बर्ड एंड द सिंगिंग ऑफ द रॉबिन बर्ड विच ही मेनिया टाइम्स ही हैड हर्ड बट अनफॉर्चुनेटली वॉज सो नर्वस ही वॉज सो कन्फ्यूज ही कुड नॉट अंडरस्टैंड दोज वर्ड्स और ही कुड नॉट अंडरस्टैंड दैट लैंग्वेज एलियन हियर मीन्स अनोन और फॉरन इट वॉज मोर देन एन आर एंड आई वॉज स्टिल देयर सर्चिंग फॉर अ सुटेबल ट्री टू क्लाइम एंड गेट सिक्योर गेट सिक्योर मीन्स बी सेफ Turn back to the trail you left. My mind was telling me, but were no signs of the trail. I had no other way to climb the hillock before me. There were more hillocks and even more around the one I was standing. So he just wanted to find a tree to climb on the tree. Maybe if he could climb on the tree, the wild animals would not be able. The predators would not be able to catch his scent and climb the trees. so it was his plan but there was something in his conscious the something in his mind which was telling him to go back and find that a trail find that path which he had left but he also knew that there was no sign of trail it was dark he did not have a torch he didn't have any flame that's why in a complete darkness he could not find the trail he had the only way that was to climb the hillocks but unfortunately he could not climb on them near my feet where the dried up droppings of sloth bear the sloth bear of umar zara must be out in open sniffing for food i cautioned myself thinking of averting all sorts of eventuality i made a move so sloth bear is a type of a bear the bear of umar zara the famous bear of umar zara was out for food and he didn't want to have one on one fight with him he was actually he was like a food for him now so he did not want to get an interaction or he did not want to face the famous sloth bear of umar zara so he made a move i ran down the hillock that i had climbed up at a frantic speed frantic speed means hurried and excited so he had climbed one of the hillocks which looked very uh, what do you say a familiar hillock that he had climbed once now he jumped before uh, jumped down and he came down the west was to my right hand side now so now he had found his west so in a frantic speed he jumped down the hillock the west was to my right hand side now the evening breeze blew through my wet curled hair my stomach was aching i kept walking in hope so he did had found the west side or the west direction which was on his right hand side the evening breeze breeze the evening breeze means the cold winds of the evening flew from his wet curled hair now even if his head are straight okay if his, even his hair was straight curled means twisted now they have become curled and twisted because of the sweat he was soaked in somewhere his stomach was also aching because of he was very hungry and he kept on walking in hope I kept on walking in hope. Uh, after around fifty steps, I found a bright red soil trail. I found my silver lining on this trail. So he found his silver lining here. It means silver lining means he had found track of his trail. He found his path where he wanted to go. Silver lining here means that he, his hopes, his ambitions were come had come to fruitfulness. He had found the path he wanted to fight. find there were marks of bicycle wheel on this trail that was a big consolation for me there must be a village nearby i reassured myself more questions resurfaced how far is the village and where in which direction so even after finding his silver lining or even after finding his bicycle wheel trail there was also a question in his mind that how far is the village is the village very near is the village after 10 kilometers after 20 kilometers will i be able to reach the village on time will any wild animal hold me if uh, i'll be trying that so many questions were in his mind and the most important of all the questions was in which direction should i travel because he had only found the trail of his bicycle marks but there was no direction i climbed one more hillock and tried to locate signs of human civilization human civilization means he tried to find humans in that particular area my legs were trembling trembling means his legs were shaking 
As I reached the top of the hill, I jumped with joy. I heard the sounds of people talking in the loudspeaker. In a jiffy, in a jiffy means in a hurry, I ran down the hill towards the sound with full vigor. Vigor here means full strength. So he ran with his full strength. I stumbled and I fell down, saw droppings of the blue bulls nearby. Struggled, stood up and decided which direction to move on. So he was excited to finally find a similar trail and he knew that this is the direction that where we have to run. This is where I have to find, I will find my right track. This is where the human civilization is. So when he started running with his remaining strength, he fell, but he got up again and he started running. He saw the droppings of blue bulls, a type of domesticated animal. Again, he started to move in that direction. And then he started to see signs of civilization. Signs of civilization means human society. He could see signs that people live here. This is the place where people live. The tiny sleepy village of Pitizari was visible through the green woods. The lantern of Rajaram Bhalvi's farm, the loudspeaker installed for Keshav Bhalvi's marriage, all were in clear sight. Turned left to spot the village lake and familiar hillock, Suidhaki, the dog barked to welcome me to the village. So after his all the attempts, after his final attempts, he somewhere found the trail to Petsari. From the green woods, he could see the village very clearly. He clearly identified the lantern from Rajaram Bhalvi's farm, uh, the loudspeaker, the sound of the loudspeaker that was coming from Keshav Bhalvi's marriage, all were seen clearly to him. And he, then he looked behind to see that the familiar hillock, Suidhaki, and a small lake. He even noticed the barking of the dog and he felt that the dog barked to welcome him to the village. The first thing I did was to take a bath. The shaking of the limbs was lessened a bit. Limbs here mean joints of hands and legs. The stomach ache started again. I ate to full and then slumped onto the cot. Slumped means fell heavily. When we are very, very, very tired, we do not see whether uh, when we are uh, an attempt to sleep, we do not see whether we are sleeping down on the mat or on the what is say, bed. So it was his condition that he was completely exhausted. He just slumped onto the cot. We jumped into the cot heavily. Lying awake, looking at the star-studded sky, I spoke to myself. Even in all this chaos, all this attention, nervousness, after taking bath, he looked up in the sky and he thought to himself, there still exists a jungle where we can get lost. Isn't this our good luck? So he being such a, uh, what do you say, he was a nice person or not a nice person we can say, he can, uh, we can say a well-trained person like him who goes and comes out from the Umbarzara village, from the Pitzari to Umbarzara forest, he being lost at a place and that also in a jungle where he used to travel day and night, he lost, he, was, he got lost there. And he, being lost, he also found his track. Many of us, if we get lost in a known place, in the darkness, many of us will die because of the nervousness or will never be able to find the track. But fortunately, the narrator, he had co have kept his cool up and also good luck. We can say that he found his good luck. Because of that, he found his way out of the Umbarzara forest back to the Pitsari village. And he felt that this is somewhere good luck. So this is taken from Sakha Nagzira by Kiran Purandare. So this is the end of part 1. Let us now see part 2. That is Tracking the Panther of Nagarhode. Part 2. Tracking the Panther of Nagarhode. Shah Chang is a wildlife photographer. A photographer is a professional who clicks professional photos. Now many of us are photographers where we are amateurs, we are not professionals. Because this professional photographers use special equipment and this specialize with special type of techniques. He is also a cinematographer. A cinematographer is a person who operates on motion videos or motion pictures. Uh, we can also say a person who shoots videos, professional videos. He is a big cat tracker that means he himself uh, goes behind the big felines such as may, uh, the cats, the big wild cats such as a uh, lion, a tiger, a leopard, a jaguar or a cheetah. 
he is a man animal conflict a resolution seeker at a lodge owner man animal conflict a resolution seeker means he somewhere tries to promote or tries to help the people get out of problems between the man and the animal so resolution seeker here means he tries to find different solutions how to not uh, get uh, the wild animals and the man get into a problem that is maybe the villages and also a lodge owner all are rolled into one so such jung is a number of things is all of them when he is away from the jungles of nagarhole officially called the rajiv gandhi national park he is leading photography safaris in africa or showcasing his work at art galleries in the capital cities and speaking to those interested in conserving the planet's riches so when sat jung is away from nagarhole which is also known as the rajiv gandhi national park he takes people to safari safari is trip into the jungle means he goes on safaris to africa or he is showcasing his work at art galleries now this art galleries are places where a photographer a painter or any person who has some kind of artistic talent in him he wants to show it to the people uh, uh, get appreciation from the people okay or he is speaking uh, in uh, on behalf of the animals to the people like uh, taking a seminar especially on conserving the planet's riches shah has recalls with great clarity the incident that ultimately leads to his answering the call of the felines over a career dedicated to finance so the call of the felines felines here means like cat or something which belongs to the cat family so shahaz here is trying to tell us something about one of his very closest memory it was somewhere around sunset we were at a junction the deer was calling he says we went around a blind turn he continues and up ahead of the path was this old leopard so shahaz recalls a memory that somewhere we were following a particular deer and without unknowing that unknowingly they made a blind turn and suddenly in front of them there was an old leopard you can tell that he was his prime past he was prime he was prime means he was the leader of his pack now the those of you who do not know the behavior of the animals the cats the feline cats maybe they they may be a what do you say group of of uh, tigers or lions or the pact of the lions or the pact of the tigers the leopards the jaguars they have one particular of the leopard or the tiger or the lion who is the leader so looking at this old leopard he could easily tell that he was one of the leaders in this past time he was his leader the jungle had taken a toll on him he only had 3 canines that means he had only 3 or 4 teeth or you could say that yes canines here means teeth the jungle had taken a toll on him that means that he was uh, very old and he was almost of uh, what do you say being old and he could die canines here also could mean that he had three children uh, or three of his cubs uh, around him his eyes were sagging close to this leopard was another very young good looking male who was soon to come into his prime sagging means a drooping legs means he was very old this old leopard was extremely old about to die and with the leopard was a very young one a good looking male who was going to become the king of the pack or the leader it was like looking at the past and the present means looking at the old leopard and the young leopard he could distinguish between something as old that is past and the present it was clear that there was going to be a fight unfortunately the sun was setting and we had to leave so sahaj jung and his team he said that he was moving on and out of a particular place when their interaction or they interacted somewhere at a place where the old leopard and the young leopard were about to get into a fight and unfortunately the sun was setting so they had to leave they could not wait there and see the entire scene unfortunately the sun was setting and we had to leave but the next morning i went back to the spot sitting on a high rock was the young leopard blood was dripping from a gash across his face gash means long deep cut he sat there like he was the king of the jungle i knew right then that he had taken over that it was the beginning of a new journey for him and for me so unfortunately he could not wait for the fight between the old leopard and the young leopard 
and he had to leave that particular place and when he left that particular place another day in the early morning he came back to see what was the result and he could clearly see that the young leopard was sitting on a big rock blood was out of his mouth all over the face his entire face was with blood and he knew that he was the king of the jungle maybe the young leopard had killed the old leopard and now or uh, during a fight he must have been injured and now he is the king of that pack i knew that he had taken over and that it was the beginning of a new journey for him now the young leopard was the king of the pack and it was a new journey for him as well as the narrator himself that is sir chang as he is a big cat tracker photographs of that leopard the victor scarface as sars named him not only made shahs famous among the indian wildlife community but also led to shahs unedible reputation as a chronicler of the wild so when shahs returned in the morning to get a glimpse of the both the leopards the young leopard and the old leopard he saw something very uh, indifferent he had seen that the young leopard had killed the old leopard and he suddenly became the victor the winner so shahs named that victor or that young leopard as scarface not only the name given by shahs scarface made him famous but his photographs also made shahs very famous among the indian wildlife community but also led shahs unavoidable uh, unavoidable reputation as a chronicler so chronicler here means a storyteller somebody who tells stories through my journey of photographing scarfish i have discovered other leopards his mates and his discovered his nemesis the tigers so there are a lot of different types of words so chronicler here means storytellers so intimately means closely and nemesis means the enemies so while tracking scarface shahs found out a number of things about uh, the scarface that who were his mates means who were the family members of shahs maybe his cubs uh, maybe the fellow leopards also he found about his basic enemies the tigers i also discovered the current protagonist of my work saya while tracking scarface protagonist means another main lead with scarface there was another lead named as saya this is the world's first black panther the behavior of which is being documented so intimately on camera by tracking its movements so uh, shahs has uh, what is stated that saya is the world's first black panther now for those who don't know what a panther is a panther is a type of animal a big cat which is similar to a jaguar a black color cat which is rather little big from the cheetah or the leopard okay so this is the world's first black panther and never ever the world has been seen so closely about the movements or how this animal could behave in the wild for so for all the research on the animal has been done through camera traps though many months of toil toil means hard work shahs has managed to collect precious footage including that of the animal meeting to piece together the incredible landscape of a black panther's life so if any uh, what do you say if the wild animals there are very special things about the wild animal especially about their behavior their mating behavior or uh, they uh, bringing up uh, bringing their family so there are such things that have never been captured on the camera but thanks to shahs and uh, his team okay all these things have been captured on the camera saya scarface and pardus the leopard that lost to scarface have also led shahs down a different path of discovery so shahs named the leopards as saya scarface and pardus so learning about learning about saya scarface and pardus it also enhanced some of shahs's memory and his work so it forced him to create the buffer conflict resolution trust of india that is bcrti now the buffer conflict means buffer zones are isolation zones so when shahs was traveling with these three felines saya scarface and pardus uh, pardus he found out ab- about that how pardus or the three leopards had lost their habitat natural habitat when the humans start interfering or start taking control of the land which is used to be a forest they uh, it becomes a buffer zone 
ओके द बफर कॉन्फ्लिक्ट रेजोल्यूशन ट्रस्ट ऑफ इंडिया दैट इज बी सी आर टी आई इट्स एन एजेंसी दैट एजुकेट्स विलेजर्स हु लिव ऑन द फ्रेंच ऑफ द फॉरेस्ट ऑन द इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ कंजर्वेशन सो यू कैन से दैट शाज दिस पर्टिकुलर एजेंसी इट वर्क विद द विलेज एंड ट्राइंग टू टेल दैम दैट वाइल यू आर लिविंग ऑन द बाउंड्री बिटवीन द फॉरेस्ट एंड द विलेज हाउ कैन यू कंजर्व इट सो द एनिमल्स वोट बी डिस्टर्ब एंड द एनिमल्स विल नॉट डिस्टर्ब यू इन रिटर्न वी आर इन द हार्ट ऑफ द मैन एनिमल कॉन्फ्लिक्ट जोन शाज एक्सप्लेन्स देर इज नो स्पेसिफिक बफर जोन अराउंड नागर होली सो वाइल वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द बफर जोन देर आर द मैन एनिमल कॉन्फ्लिक्ट जोन मीन्स देर इज अ स्पेसिफिक एरिया विच शुड बी अलवेज गिवन टू द एनिमल्स एंड देर शुड बी अ स्पेसिफिक लैंड एरिया विच शुड बी केप्ट फॉर द मैन बट समाइम्स मैन ड्यू टू ग्रीड और मैन ड्यू टू नीड ग्रीड एज वेल एज नीड ही जस्ट ब्रेक्स दैट बफर जोन एंड ही स्टार्ट्स कॉन्फ्लिक्टिंग और ही स्टार्ट्स गोइंग इन टू द एरियाज दैट इज मेड फॉर द एनिमल्स एंड हियर स्टार्ट्स द मैन एनिमल कॉन्फ्लिक्ट और मैन एनिमल प्रॉब्लम्स सो ही ट्राइज टू टेल द पीपल हाउ दे शुड कीप देर देम सेल्फ सेफ इन द बफर जोन एंड नॉट गो इन साइड द बफर जोन बट इन नागर हो नो बडी कैन अंडरस्टैंड वॉट द बफर जोन इज एक्चुअली द कोर एरिया ऑफ द फॉरेस्ट एंडस वेर द फील्ड्स बिगेन सो दिस इज द प्लेस वेर द बफर जोन स्टार्ट्स बफर जोन इज एक्चुअली दैट प्लेस वेर द लेपर्स और दिस पैंथर्स लिव द वाइल्ड एनिमल्स लिव एंड वेर द फील्ड द ह्यूमन फील्ड्स एंड फार्म्स बिगेन दैट प्लेस एंडस देर In dry season, elephant and wild boar incursions into the fields are very common. Means attacks during, uh, especially during the season, end of the season, the animals come in. Older leopards like Parthas who have lost. So the older leopards like Parthas who have lost territory in the forest often carry away livestock from the villages. So Parthas is one of the older leopards who used to uh, travel. or who used to go from one place to another with scarface saya okay these are those leopards that shaz has been tra- tracking and they are those who do not have any part of the territory means they are not a pa- what is it they are a part of a pact but they are not leaders so if you know the behavior of the felines especially the tigers the lions or any animals that work in pact that work in teams whatever food is hunted is eaten mostly uh, most of it is eaten by the leaders so parthas who does not have any territory or who does not belong to any pact uh, he tries to take away or he carries away livestock maybe he'll catch some hen or some sheep and this creates a resentment that this creates some problems between the local towards the animals and it also creates some unpleasant situations putting tourist currency to good use under the BCRTI umbrella shaz provides local and vocational training with the aim of educating locals on the merits of conservation and to help them benefit from tourist currency so with the help of BCRTI shaz also brings on people tourists from different countries who can come in and help the people with the skills they have okay so their tourist money could be helped Uh, used very properly without any pro- problems this tourist money should be used for both the benefit of the humans as well as the animals the visitors at the resort are welcome to volunteer to teach a skill training class of their choice the acquired skills enable local to find employment with any of the numerous wildlife resorts in that region if not in far away city so whatever uh, whichever visitors may come uh, here maybe they come from america maybe from india itself or any other country they have to teach some kind of skill that the local people can learn so with the help of these skills acquired from the people they can find employment at a numerous numerous wildlife resorts or if not possible at that place maybe they'll find some kind of work in the far away city now made gowda is one such local agriculturist who is trained at bcrti and now is a certified naturalist employed by the bison so the bison is a name of the uh, one particular institution here so made gowda is a name of a person he is an agriculturist and agriculturist is a farmer so the bison is actually a resort which is run by shah jung and his family in the past i have lost almost 80% of the season's yield of sugar are the words of made gowda himself that he said that in the past years 
he had lost 80% of the yield of sugarcane because of the animal attacks. I used to hate them, but I have now learned how. Important these animals are and the value of protecting them. So he is trying to tell us that how what experience he had. His experience with the animals was really very dreadful and 80% of his farms were destroyed by these wild animals. He did not like the wild animals but now he understands the importance of these animals and why we should protect them. He says I have known these jungles for 35 years. I know there where the animals are and I realize I can guide visitors and get paid for it. So when he is working here, when Mare Gauda is wor working here uh, at the Bison which is a resort run by Shah Jung, he says that with the help of my experience of being in the jungle for 35 years, I have become like a tourist guide for the people who come here to visit the these jungles. So I have been here for 35 years so I can understand where the animals are at what time and I get to uh, I get paid by the visitors for being a tourist guide to them. In a way the animals are paying me back. <coughs> so somewhere he is saying that the animals are paying him back. The forest have taught me many a things. Okay. For instance listening is a sense far more important than sight. So he, he for instance for an example he is saying that when we listen it is somewhere more important than seeing. You have to switch off your vehicle sit and listen for the forest is constantly communicating through the voices of birds and animals he explains tracking an animal also teaches you life lessons so he tells us about his experience about being quiet in a jungle you can if you turn off the engine uh, of your car you can hear the communication between the various birds and the wild animals so tracking down an animal has also taught him a number of life lessons the black panther has taught me patience but above all it has taught me to never stop discovering there are just too many amazing experiences to learn and share with the world so this is something that he has learned from the wild that is the black panther the black panther which does not belong to that particular environment it is not part of that environment but yet the black panther okay the black panther here is while tracking down Saya, they understood the importance of Saya being the world's first black panther that also in India and especially at a place where the leopards are living. This particular black panther is living with the other leopards and that also in harmony without any problem. So because of this, because of this young black panther has taught us patience. So it is life is all about discovering. There are just so many amazing experiences to learn and share with the world. This is what his message is to the world. So this is taken from the Sea and Traveler magazine published by Land Rover India. So here we end this particular lecture. I hope you have understood both the parts very nicely. Now let us meet again. We will meet again with the brainstorming question and answers of the lesson. Till then goodbye and this is the end.